Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Death Zone. I'm Jim McMahon, and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello. Hello, Jims. How are we doing tonight? We are kicking off Wednesday Death Zone from Tampa, Florida. Watch out for gators and uh, people on meth, I guess, <laughs> and old people. Glorious. And we got a show tonight with a bunch of matches in it that we're going to have to sit through. And the first one is the Unnatural Snackers making their return after kind of struggling against the Norse cunts in an Extreme Rules tag match. Yeah. Yeah, and Death Zone is all extreme and it's all characters we haven't seen so much and, you know... Unnatural Snackers, great fan favourites, so it's lovely to see them in action, hopefully beating the piss out of a pair of Norse cunts. Yeah, I think everyone here has signed up to see that. Uh, but the Snackers have struggled as of late, even though everything they do is perfect and no criticism should be thrown their way. Uh, they haven't been winning matches whatsoever, and in fact got embarrassed in their last ones. But again... We love them dearly, and we just want them to be happy and successful. Yeah. Unfortunately, Muppet Pac-Man, it's not possible in an Extreme Rules match to have a three-way intro. No. So, sadly, sadly, no managers in Extreme Rules matches. And every match in Death Zone is Extreme. Extreme! Which means the game plan here is to learn what you need from your manager backstage and then come out for a fight. <laughs> yeah, boy. And usually that fight will, will, with it being extreme, that fight will involve a little bit extra Glorious. picking up weapons and putting no them back down again. Absolutely. Until and you I can see victorious. these two guys coming out now are ready for the defend. most brutal conflict of their lives. They're coming out here full of intensity, full of carbohydrates, <laughs> and they are here for blood. It is the unnatural snackers, Johnny Five, Top Rope Johnny, Satterfield. They got their pancakes and their bootios, and they are skipping down their gold, yellow brick road. You're on such good form, and then you just stop. Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> JoJo started talking, and I didn't want to talk over it, and then I was like, why don't I care about talking over JoJo? <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, hello, Wolfbark, and thank you very much for staying fantastic for one who will be the pregnancy, and congratulations on your glorious victory, and you are now the reigning, defending, undisputed... SFL champion. And well, the way I hear it backstage, Jimps, is that uh, most people in the SFL are claiming Skiramezzo is still the champion because he was able to finish his game uh, in, uh, in, in in regular time uh, when he won it last season. So it's kind of a disputed championship at best. But I will say this, given how long that game did take to conclude, Skiramezzo is in the books as the longest reigning SFL <laughs> champion in SFL history in Blood Bowl 2. Amazing stuff by Skiramezzo. Just amazing. And that's from a guy who doesn't even know much about Blood Bowl, doesn't pay attention to most of those leagues. Whole different sport. I'm here for the wrestling and watching people like Skiramezzo backstage brawling. But, um... You know, I just I just had to go out there and say it. You know, there's, we're, we're all a community of people that care about sports achievements and being the longest reigning SFW, FS, SFL <laughs> champion in SFL history is surely something that Skirmets has got to be kind of proud of. I, I wouldn't personally, but yeah, maybe he is. <laughs> 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 don't watch the VOD. Yeah, to, to be fair to Squirrel Dude and Wolfbark, don't watch the VOD. Whatever you do, 
Don't watch the book. I think the VOD is really safe to watch. Movie. We mostly talked about Scaramence's glory and dominance. I <laughs> know, yeah, I was only joking. <laughs> I was only joking. We only spoke the truth, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's a, it's a funny old game, isn't it? It's a funny old game, is, is Blood Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my dogs. Coming my dogs there. started yelling at the police about halfway through the game, so there was that. So Wolf Bark, you'd probably be into that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oof. I thought maybe you thought the guard was your guy. Oh, and a quick roll up by Satterfield almost gets the three count just envelops the much smaller space cadet. <laughs> uh, yeah, our, 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 our sideline reporter reported a little bit differently, Squirrel Dude, but... <laughs> and now the Norse cunts firmly in command here, and by firmly in command, they're both instantly countered. Curse of Scarrow once again. <laughs> Whoa, a brutal knee to the chops of Space Cadet. Yeah, the double stop, too. Now, now, Satterfield gets straight into more Plovac as well. Oh my god! <laughs> J5 just kicks more Plovac off the top rope to the outside. Who knew he could bend his hips like that? <laughs> That was fucking brutal as fuck, wasn't it? And and now the ladder in the ring to be instantly forgotten about. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, J5 top top rung Johnny gets the ladder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it will probably be instantly forgotten about. To be fair. Oh, shake rock and roll. <laughs> oh, sh yeah, absolutely. And Space Cadet a little preoccupied here. <laughs> a lot preoccupied here. Ow! Oh, that would have been an amazing <laughs> way to live. That would have been just just the best. Well, just the best if that had happened. Not sure how this isn't a rope break. <laughs> There's no rope breaks in Extreme Rules. Oh, right, right, oh. right, right. right, right. Oh, wow. Bulldog right into the concrete. Yeah. Well, oh, but Satterfield just muscles down. Doesn't get much of a, a chair. Uh, for it. No, chair, yeah. The, the, in other news, the ladder has almost made its way all the way across the ring without having been picked up once. <laughs> Will it stay in the ring? <laughs> harrowing, harrowing action here. <laughs> oh, space biffed it. And then gets the hit on uh, on Satterfield. Yeah, I was surprised you even tried to set up for it. I would have set up for the... Uh, I, if I was Wolfpack, I wouldn't have set up to stop the one turn. And if I was you, I'd have just set up for the riot. If I was both of you, I'd have yeah. set up for the riot, to be honest. But, uh, fair enough. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, more Plovatch sweet, sweet doing some muffins. something stupid. <laughs> the snackers. I'm loving J5's shirt, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, that that ladder is teetering, teetering <laughs> on the brink there, and that's the hardest part of the ring. <laughs> it is, yeah. It really is. Oh, look at that! What a clothesline! And another one. Yeah. Oh, kicks in. And I mean, technically it is lemon, but it's not actually a loser's bracket. It's, we just paired them off. Yeah, it's just just paired them off because they weren't in it anymore. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Mrs. Throw. I'll have you know she's got a name. <laughs> oh, this is dominating by the uh, unnatural snackers at the moment. Yeah, a little bit. It? A little bit. Oh, I haven't said that. He's out of the ring, but here comes... Boof! Oh, big, big running knee, but... 
Space Cadet there to break up the pin instantly. Yeah, yeah it breaks it up before it even starts. Now the double team is on. J5 gets back in though. Instant breakup. They're all missing with the oh, punches. The drop kick busts open Space Cadet. Yeah, devastating Space Cadet with that drop kick. And it looks like Satterfield's ready to do a move, but he's tossed. Jeff Ivers tossed uh, Moore Plovac off as well. Now they're think. both going after Moore <laughs> Plovac. You don't see that often. <laughs> no, he smashed Oh, it. yeah, and here comes possibly a black mass from Satterfield. Oh. There it is. Not in the ring, though. And uh, Space Force is standing up now. Who? Space. Ah, oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I thought we got. I thought we were gonna get further than match one. <laughs> oh god! Look at this—the axe kick and the one leg busting crab, a half crab, I guess. Oh, and there it is! There it is, everyone! The ladder is on the outside floor. It has traveled all the way across the ring without help. <laughs> what a match! <laughs> and Space Cadet exercising his foot <laughs> fetish there. <laughs> he's, he's pounding away on the feet of. Yeah, yeah, that was on purpose, Lemon. It was just a bit for the show. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it was. Definitely that. <laughs> that fucking head drop. <laughs> <laughs> And he's going for it again. Look at this, another round. Ooh, get right in there. Oh boy, and this is big trouble for the Snackers. <laughs> Battlefield looks like he's gonna be okay getting out of that though. J5, you're making this orc cheerleader wetter than an Asian monsoon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, what happened to uh, Cup Johnny Cups? Johnny Cups. Yeah, the little Johnny in the cup. Oh, because I changed the I've uh, changed the uh, the scene. Ah, changed the scene. Here we go. Look. Oh boy, Space Kid had not too pleased looking with more Plovatch pulling it off, but. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, dear Hana. <laughs> oh, and there it is again. The Norse guns cannot help celebrating while their partner <laughs> needs help. Whoops, <laughs> yeah. Space Cadet's going for something here. Oh, the big Oh, neck boy, cuts. total domination right now by the Norse guns. This yeah. has got to be it, right? You'd think so. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Can. Yes, Satterfield does. Axe handle to the dick on Flowbatch. <laughs> Wow. Incredible save by Sato. Oh, and here it is. Possibly a... Nope. nope. 619? No. <laughs> Sato feel busy taunting? Oh, boy. Top rope, Sadie. Oh! <laughs> The elevation, but I think he forgot to do a move. Yeah, he did. A, he did the. He was so shocked that he didn't just land on his fucking ass. <laughs> oh dear, this could be it. Oh, pin. Ref deciding he doesn't want to count this though. <laughs> oh, that was like a four count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a fat man six one nine by Jeff. <laughs> It was a bit like a Bronco Buster. Did did um did uh did X Pac stop doing the Bronco Buster after he tore his ass all open? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think he always did it. 
Yeah. I don't remember him tearing his asshole open. You know, he did it. He no. did it like on the indies after after Double Double E. Uh, he, he oh, did a I, I, I don't know. Buster. Yeah, I don't know. He did a Bronco Buster, missed. Like the, I think the other guy got out of the way, and he landed on the uh, he landed on the uh, like turnbuckle, and just tore his ass open. He, Jesus! He got rushed to rushed to hospital with like blood loss and stuff. <laughs> oh, good lord! Yeah, I think he might have stopped doing it after that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. I don't. I, I don't think he's wrestling anymore. So. Yeah. Well, this is it. That yeah, is it. Know. The unnatural snackers. You know, a little bit of a anti climax on that pin there, but he gets the pin and the win. Huge for the unnatural snacker, then the crowd is going wild. Yeah. Yeah, Satterfield's moveset's amazing, isn't it? It really sits in bizarrely. It really sits I know, in. I, I know. Everyone was like, I, I remember specifically having that talk with you. You're like, he's way too big for Alistair Black's moves. I was like, no. With those yeah, long legs, it'll be awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Good shout. Good shout, Gorilla. Recommending Satterfield yeah. to go to the <laughs> stick with that training. School of yeah, really, really, the star of this match was that ladder, though. Gotta say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tony, incredible. They snapped the losing streak thanks to their new, uh, their new improved kit, no doubt. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, J5. Oh, dear me. Right. Oh. Right, so now we've got two high flyers, Backdoor Billy and Papa Piccolo. <laughs> Congrats to Kaskura Metzo, the real winner of the match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I believe it. Uh, yeah, so Extreme Rules back, back, oh fuck, it begins. Backdoor Billy versus Papa Piccolo. Uh, two high flyers, as you said, in a match together, and here we go. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? I'm sure you're excited. <laughs> very, very excited for this one. <laughs> Papa Piccolo, best known for being in a four-way last uh, four-way elimination and uh, instantly disappearing from it <laughs> last week. Yeah. <laughs> Bretonian, actually, BZL, Bretonian. <laughs> there you go, back to the He might be repackaged, you know, back to the I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling that back to the might be repackaged. Certainly couldn't hurt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> hey, Jim, I just call like I see it. <laughs> um, who would have the most successful porn career? Obviously, Goliath. <laughs> Don't think there could be yeah, any. Yeah, that's a good shout. I, I, gotta, I gotta tend to agree with you on Goliath. Uh, off the top of my head, the only other person I could really think of uh, that I would be sexually attracted to uh, would be Scrumetso. That guy. <laughs> oh, no. He's good, not at all. He's good looking good. wrestler, good looking guy. He's got a, kind of the total package. I'll be honest, uh, speaking of the total package, I've seen his package backstage and he could not make it. <laughs> 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 Well, that's about the only thing I've ever heard negative about Skiramezzo's backstage abilities. Uh, <laughs> from a brawling standpoint, he's just the, the best in the business. <laughs> oh, Dave, yeah. We got, we got there in the end, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Maybe table leg wanger, maybe uh, crusher. <laughs> Well, now you're just talking about good port names. <laughs> Maybe extra arm plot. 
boy. Could use his extra arm, that was good work. <laughs> Holding an apple, maybe. <laughs> I like Papa Piccolo. I don't hate it. Kiwi Nutsack Attack. <laughs> no, I, don't, I think Goliath's the number one. It's got to be on it. It's got to be Goliath. If anyone's going to be a pawn star in GFW, it's got to be Goliath. Oh. Well, I, I can assume uh, Fall Force has already failed like two other porn careers <laughs> already, so he's probably disqualified from that. <laughs> yeah. uh, but <laughs> he's certainly he's certainly the most ready to immediately start a porn career given his uh, outfit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, eh, <Avery? laughs> Yeah, maybe Night Demon, maybe. Oh, savage kick to the chest. <laughs> Sex robot, my hands. <laughs> I don't know if he's that way inclined or not, to be honest. <laughs> Oh dear me! Backdoor Billy, what's he what's he thinking about here? He's got bad oh, intentions. Superplex and nope, uh, Frankenstein. Oh, Frankenstein. Incredible. And now, what's he grabbing that he's not going to use? Sure looks like a bat. <laughs> and there it is on the floor, right where you'd expect it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he tried to use it, but Papa pa Piccolo was too fast. End result's the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was too fast. And he gets... Oh, he's got the bat! Oh, he's got the he bat! He has picked it up a second time. I don't know what's going oh. on. And now he still misses with it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just brains him and then throws it back down. This is the most violent match in JFW history. <laughs> oh, wow, brutal. That was <laughs> absolutely brutal, wasn't it? And now he's hitting yep. off the hardest part of the ring as well. Outrageous. I love that they do that with the baseball bags. They'd never fucking do that in the real double double league, would they? <laughs> no, they sure wouldn't. They do that thing where they grab the end of it and then drive it into your gut. Yeah. Hand first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that, but that is something else. Just bam. <laughs> fucking brandy. <laughs> love to see it. We don't care about concussions in the JFW, I'll tell you that. Oh, look at this. Boosh! Bats his head off the uh, turn buckle. A lot of head damage going on for Papa Piccolo right now. Yeah, oh, he doesn't care about that kick thought of the back. And here he comes with a self running self rock bottom. Impressive stuff. Why do people do the self rock bottom? It doesn't make any sense. Like, the rock bottom makes sense, the self rock bottom makes no sense. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, twisty twat. Gets him. He's looking to end it here. Oh, he's got him up. And he's got him Ooh. off. And there's the pin. Oh, it's not over. Just the two count. <laughs> he said... <laughs> Calmly and not disappointed. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Gorilla. <laughs> oh. Hauls him up. Uh, and now we're going to see another Frankensteiner. I think so. Yeah. What a maneuver. Yep. Oh, he's going for an armbar, but he's gone out. He's fought his way out of it, Papa Piccolo. And what, what's this Ooh, maneuver nor here? Northern, oh no, yeah, look at that. Incredible, like a package. Falcon arrow attack. or something, yeah. Very nice. Oh, he's doing a comeback, I think. 
Look at these running. But look at him. But look, what's this? What kicks him in there? Oh. And here he is. He's all fired up now. Has him on the ropes in the corner. Whoa! God, oh. that was amazing. <laughs> Slams his head into the second turnbuckle, busts him open. <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't it? And he's doing this move again. That's a yeah. hell of a move. Oh, into a pin this time. This, oh, I was going to say just a one a, count. Just a one count. Wow. A bad Iron Man Satan. <laughs> just going to look at him now. What what submissions this maneuver called, Gorilla? The uh, cross face of some kind. Wow, it's kind of not across his face. That's that was weird, wasn't it? Direct, a modified yeah. cross face. I thought it was yeah, modified. <laughs> thought maybe it was uh maybe it's like a rings of Saturn, but it wasn't. Mm. Back door getting destroyed. <laughs> He's smashing his back door in. <laughs> There's no one, Giorgio at ringside is there, which I find personally very disappointing. <laughs> no one ever puts anybody through the, uh, through the Someday, table. someday, it'll be the greatest day. <laughs> someday, it'll happen. Ooh, fancy suplex there. Yeah, it is. It is Lemon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but they need the they need the special OMG moment to be able to do it, and don't know how many of them have got it to be. Oh, is that a Spanish fly? Yeah, standing Spanish fly too. It's very athletic, isn't it? Wait, look I don't at know. This. I don't know, Muppet. But uh, okay, you want me to predict it? I think that. Someday, Kurgle will put a uh, flap fart through that table. <laughs> it's a bold prediction. Yeah, well, I mean, most everyone will forget I ever predicted that. When it comes true, I'll remind people. If someone else goes through it, I'll just say I predicted it anyway. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I predict Jimmy Fantastic will put Skuro Mezzo through a table. Yeah, well, you're just going to... Okay. <laughs> you're going to give yourself the skill, put the game on with no stream going. Nikolino will put EAB. Whoa, look at that. They both got up from that in, in, at the same yeah. time. What a, what a war this is turning into here. Indeed. <laughs> nice running miss kick there. <laughs> oh, another spa standing Spanish fly. Mm. <laughs> Fucking Mickey Mouse. Wait a minute! <laughs> 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 Little bit of showmanship there from Backyard Bilbo. Backdoor Billy. <laughs> Backyard Bilbo! <laughs> oh wow, that was amazing! <laughs> oh shit, look at this! What a maneuver that was as well. He's got some moves on him, his old Papa Piccolo, I tell you. Yeah, and in for the pin. This could be it. It is. No, no, the two count kick out. <laughs> they do sometimes, Deer Hunter. <laughs> that was incredible. Modified crossface here. Hello, Frosty. Oh, he's tapped! Oh, and he gets the tap up. We have never seen that end of match before, but now we have. And here is your winner, Papa Piccolo. Congratulations, Papa Piccolo. 
He's very happy with himself. Bit of mutual respect here. <laughs> None from Backdoor B. Maybe that's the start of a uh, potential rivalry there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being brained by a bat. <laughs> and now we have the big, the big fatal four way of the card. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and uh, a lot of a lot of fan favorites and Marcel in this match, <laughs> and uh, yeah, bezel bezel uh, always uh, always a welcome sight. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to even mention Just Joe. We know how we all feel about him. Uh, and then there's Gdanek. He's in the match. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Let me grab some water. <laughs> Yeah, and I tell you what, uh, Bezel must be a lizard man coach, because boy is he a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> yeah. Marcel's face is a great face, to be fair. Glorious. No, I won't oh, give glorious. in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Papa. I will defend. Papa. Pickable. Here is your bribe. Thank you very much for the bribe. Two human pregnancies and two beaver pregnancies. <laughs> yes, Bezel, thank you for that. And uh, thank you very much, Papa Piccolo, for staying fantastic for 26 months. Unbelievable, thank you very much. Glorious. And here is Bezel, look at this. Oh, well, baby. The, the power walk out, he is good to go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Two of the best entrances in the same match here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marcel had himself a pretty good match on uh, the other day against the uh, the longest reigning uh, JFW uh, champion, Skirometso. Uh, internet jump. champion, that is. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. He did very well. I believe that Skirometso I mean, that was, really What is that? Four. Four whole days for Skirmetso as the internet champ. That is uh, just an unbelievable feat. How did he pull it off, Jim? By not fighting. <laughs> and they say pacifism gets you nowhere. <laughs> oh boy, it is just Joe and everyone. Just hold your breath for a second. Oh, that's a great idea, Muppet. <laughs> oh, it's so good, it's never gonna get old. This never <laughs> once, never once will be old. <laughs> oh man. And you wanted him to take his mask off to wrestle to you, Philistine. He wanted to. I liked it. Well, since when has the JFW ever catered to the wants of its fucking competitors? <laughs> Never, that's why it's not happening. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> J5. That's <laughs> crap. Jesus. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Lemon? Yeah. It was a quarter to five, but it was quarter to ass. Oh, yeah, Co Cocky got what he wanted, that's true. Cocky's the only one who got what he wanted, which was a piss stained diaper. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, and that's just because I wasn't around to stop that. I feel like I could have stopped that. <laughs> oh, here's our resident porn star, Goliath. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I spied Goliath Games TV playing a little bit of Blood Bowl the other day. Did you? Shocking turn of events. Oh, wow. And I gotta say, Jim, I watched him a little bit. He was not good. <laughs> yeah, he's. he's <laughs> but we nice. still love him. He's the most beloved man in JFW. Yeah, he is. He's new to football. He hasn't. He hasn't played a lot. <laughs> I know. I'm just being a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you are. <laughs> All right. We'll see you, Tarsus. <laughs>
Uh, looks like it's going to be a one-man commentary for a bit while Tarsus commutes home. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> I mixed up Tarsus and Jimmy again. Uh, my mistake, my mistake. <laughs> well done. And uh, there he is, the mastermind of the Blitz Pit. Yes. And that is happening this weekend on Twitch, exclusively in several different <laughs> streams on the Blood Bowl 2. Yes! Well said. That is why I put him in this death zone, because I thought, yeah, you know, yeah, let's get the Twitch. I believe uh, myself and Bezel will be teaming up on the most glorious commentary. Uh, I don't know what matches we're covering, but uh, I'm uh, I'm in for the long haul fizzle at Glorious. Are you going to be streaming your own matches or just playing? Um, I'm just gonna be playing. I I, I guess no. I'll, I guess I'll have to stream them, right? I guess I'll have to. I would rather uh, someone else stream them, but I guess I'll have to. I mean, it's only gonna be two matches, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, in my luck, it'll be fucking three. <laughs> Slut life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you not seen that before, or did it just... No, I have. It gets me every time, though. Because <laughs> it's so, just so poorly just, like, scrawled on his chest. <laughs> or his stomach, I mean. <laughs> you know, Skurametsu, we all we all love Skurametsu. He, he is a master of light and shadow, not a master of biology. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't even know what is. What, I think it's girl and power. I think it's girl and power. That's. I think that's what it is. I didn't even notice the ones on his ass. <laughs> you could have, Tony. You just had. Would have had to put it in as an image. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that would be a conflict of interest. I think I'm uh, the S. I'm, I, I may be getting ahead of myself here, but I rarely am. Uh, but I think I am the top, uh, the top sponsor of the SF or of the Blitz Pit. Yeah. And unlike Jim, uh, you know, unlike Jim McMahon, I don't really want to book myself into uh, my own glory. So. <laughs> Oh, Bessel had a had a chair there. He was looking to use it, but instead his ass gets banged off the concrete. Yep. Not the concrete, off the steel ring by Just Joe, who then kicks him in the fucking chest as well. Follows up. And with Marcel it. McDaniels always finds a way to impress in these four-way dances. Yeah, he really does. Uh, I would say it's because his opponents just don't take him uh, seriously enough, but like that, that's got to have worn out by now. Like, you've got to know if you're going into a four way with Marcel, he's got some moves. He does. He loves that chop block, doesn't he? He does that a lot. The chop block, he loves the chop block. His other one that he pulled out in his internet match was pretty good too. The, uh, the, uh, the running shove thing that he was doing. Yeah, yeah, really good. Really, he's actually got some moves on him. Oh, God, here's a fucking sledgehammer. Yeah, will this make it further than the chair? It looks like... Well, Whoa. <laughs> no, he's missed with it. And it's in Marcel's hands. He's... Nope. He's dropped it. Marcel sends it back into him, but now it's on the, on the ring. <laughs> and that's probably the last we'll see of that sledgehammer. Yeah. Someone will get out a third weapon at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big power bomb here. Oh, but he has to nuzzle his face right into Bezel's <laughs> Ruggy got his face right in there, didn't he? Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the hammer. I'm gonna go with the chair. I feel like it's a bigger target to get hit, and it's close to the edge. Oh, look at that! What a maneuver from Gadenik. That, that could was. Be oh, it, and he's going and in gentlemen. for a quick pin here. Oh, Joe breaks up the wrong pin. <laughs> But he still kicks out. God, these vicious elbows from Gadani. See you, Cocky. Cheers. Whoa, what a maneuver. 
This has been pretty dominating for you, <laughs> G5, yeah. <laughs> oh! Kadenik has been somewhat overlooked. He had that feud with uh, Thor. But, um... Yeah, he didn't really do much after that, though. No. Big ham. <laughs> Hello, Fault Falls. Fault Falls with a night off. Uh, joining us on the, uh... <laughs> in the text. <laughs> Texting is, uh... Where... Oh, Bezel going up top. Got to be careful. There's a chair and a hammer on the on the ground that he might accidentally contact. <laughs> yeah, he decides to be a little bit safer. Oh god, he's gonna do the stink face. Oh, he sure is. Well, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> Come on, stink face. Oh. No, I'm just gonna send him back and forth. Oh god, Marcel's getting his face smashed off the, uh, smashed off the ring post twice. Oh god, he landed, <laughs> he landed on that sledgehammer. His balls yeah. contacting the sledgehammer on landing there. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh. Just Joe's got a baseball bat and he's just staring down Marcel with it. He's just standing, just Joe is. <laughs> and now he's just giving it to Marcel. Who has just dropped it on the floor? <laughs> uh, well, it looks like we're going for a record fourth weapon. <laughs> and there it is, the structural kendo stick. Vessel <laughs> <laughs> does not know if he should risk it, decides not to. <laughs> oh, that chair's cheating on the brink. There's uh, four more matches, dear Hunter. That fucking chair is teetering on the brink. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and just Joe and Marcel have just been outside of this ring for most of the match now. Yeah, pounding on each other. Yeah, absolutely. And Marce when Marcel pounds and it's not one of his ladies, you know it's trouble. <laughs> yeah. And there's Bezel with the pen. Marcel's on his way. Nah, he was a long way to go, though. Oh, oh and the sledgehammer! Back. Marcel's got the sledgehammer! It looks like good dreams come true! Oh. <laughs> and now just Joe's got it! All in both the chair and the sledgehammer right near the edge of the ring. <laughs> he did nail Bezel with that sledgehammer. He sure did. Well, is there anything Marcel can't do? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gdynik. Look at these incredible suplex. This could be it, actually. Taking a lot of damage outside the ring, just Joe. Bezel and uh, Marcel spread eagling outside of the ring. Oh, and look at this, <laughs> another weapon coming. Fifth weapon. Marcel is a welcome addition to any multi-man match. <laughs> He's got the table. Come on, boy. <laughs> and the table has made it into the ring. Will it get set up? No. Definitely not. <laughs> Oh, it's the teabag oh, driver! Oh, no, the teabag driver! There it is! But Marcel in with the pin! Oof. What a match! Incredible. Oh, boy, oh no! Who's gonna get count? No <laughs> one's gonna get the count. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, only the ladder left, yeah. Are we gonna have every single weapon out of, out of the... Out of the underneath of the ring here. Oh god, look at this shot here. <laughs> right in the, <laughs> looking deep in the no, vessel. No, it soul isn't there. J Fast. <laughs> hey! Oh, and just Joe with the pin on Marcel. Gdanik almost made it, but was a little distracted by Bezel, and there's our winner. No weapons make it out of the ring. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I didn't make the elimination. Maybe that should have done Well, right now the eliminations are used for the Money in the Bank match. Exactly, yeah, whatever. that was that was why I didn't, yeah. Can't overdo the gimmick. Yeah. Oh, there's a view. <laughs> Incredible suplex there from Gadani. Absolutely. <laughs> no, 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 those are only on Monday and Friday. 
Yeah, yeah, Monday and Friday's for those. And yeah, it's an, it's unbelievable the next one. What a what a force and that is for Friday. Yep. Mm, Stay tuned for Friday as Mordam gets drawn and quartered by three much larger men. <laughs> <laughs> or three much larger men all lose their testicles. We've seen Mordam go on a testicle tear before in a multi man match. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, and here. Next up, we've got a rematch <laughs> of the SFL final, this time in the JFW. It is Squirrel Dude versus Wolfbark. Glorious. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just watched a pretty good match between these two in the SFL, uh, both trying to uh, claim the title of the uh, as the successor of Skurametsu, the uh, <laughs> greatest SFL champion of all time, longest reigning uh, really a history maker but uh, we're not talking Blood Bowl now we're talking wrestling and uh, I gotta believe Squirrel Dude's a little bit of a favorite in this match I think he's a pretty big favorite yeah I think this could be uh, this yeah. could be vengeance for uh, Squirrel Dude <laughs> and uh, you know I'm just uh, reading the pundits you know reading the pundits online they're all saying if Squirrel Dude comes out with a win in here that kind of invalidates Wolfbark's championship <laughs> in the SFL so we're probably going to have to stick to uh, acknowledging Skiramezzo as the reigning champion of the SFL. That's a very good point, yeah. Man. <laughs> That's what 50-50 booking gets for you, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loves the 50-50 booking, don't they? Fifty percent of the time it works every time. I hope Night Demon gets nutshotted while he's mid AA on someone. <laughs> like I know this won't happen, but if you had someone up for the AA right as Mordan nutshotted you, and then you fell and got pinned by the guy you were AAing, that would just be poetry. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Great entrance of Squirrel Dude. He's, he's got that gun for him, whatever happens. It's a butt plug. <laughs> Dear Homer, it's a, it's, a, it's a butt plug. There's no secret. <laughs> it's a butt plug. Uh, Squirrel Dude does suffer from... Uh ulterior posterior deficiency in which your asshole is uh, six inches higher up your backside uh, than you would normally expect on a human being. Uh, so making his way out to the ring, he's just always found more comfort in plugging in a butthole uh, or uh, a butt plug uh, into his hole. Just a little bit more comfortable until he can start going. Whereas uh, Wolf Barks is a uh, naturally grown tail. Yeah. As you because see, he's a real dog. Obviously. An, actual, an actual dog here. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pretty great entrance, I think, for Wolf Bar. <laughs> You're not really a fan of Wolf Bark in this game, I don't think, are you, Gorilla? Well, look, uh, I, I, I struggle with this one a little bit because we all know my love for dogs. Uh, so generally speaking, I will support most dog-based activities. Um, and Wolf Park's moveset and his uh, match has been pretty solid. Um, so it's really hard to find fault in them. But on the other hand, I mean, look, look, look at this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point, well made. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> as all as all dogs should, Bezel. Oh, I don't even know what that means. What? What fault for oh, what? oh it's uh it's a sex thing, I think. It's a yeah. furry sex thing. Uh. 
shouldn't be surprised coming from Fault Force. He didn't know all about them. I mean, yeah, in fairness, like, I don't really know for sure, but I'm pretty, I've pretty. i definitely heard that term before associated with furries. But, yeah. like, if Fault Force said a word that I didn't understand, I'd still say the exact same statement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ladders are coming out. And instantly dropped. <laughs> Wolfbox smashing scroll dude off the off the uh, ring apron there. Hardest part of the ring, don't you know? <laughs> Palm. <Pound. Yeah. laughs> yeah, whatever they want to do, as long as they're having fun, right? Yeah. As long as they're having fun, I think as long as it's consensual should be. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. It's fun for both people, I think. It's more fun I had. Sorry, I thought that was implied. I forgot where I was for a minute there. <laughs> well, I don't have any issue with furries. They can do whatever they want. As long as they have fun. Yeah, as long as they're having fun, man. <laughs> Oh, also, I'm pretty sure most furries don't use it as a sex thing, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! The stomp! <laughs> oh, wow! The curb stomp! <laughs> <laughs> look at this, he's biting And now him. savaging his head there! <laughs> yeah! Wow. This is impressive. Oh, that kind of makes sense, Dave. Dave. Dave is uh is up on the uh up on the uh furries, isn't he? Dave. <laughs> well, yeah, but like that makes sense. Like I, I can understand exactly the logic behind that based on the statement. <laughs> ah, Google. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> well, you're probably going to be plagued for the next week, similar uh, similar to the way I was after my uh, Googling last week <laughs> on the <this> show. <laughs> <sighs> That's all. <laughs> that was brilliant, wasn't it? That destroyed me. <laughs> Haven't you, dear Haunter? Well, in that case, let me, let me oh. direct you. Oh, you? yeah. I, I take a picture of my dogs. They're pretty fucking ripped. Oh, not but they as, have long hair, so it's hard to tell. Not as buff as, uh, as, uh, Studman's. <laughs> no, fair enough. Studman's dog is the buffest dog. Look at this. I'll put the link here. That's the buffest dog. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that picture before. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got no something, like metastatin or something. Oh, Jesus. So, uh, they get muscly as fuck. There's like, mm -hmm. there's bulls that have it, or like just cows that have it. Yeah. They have the same thing, and they're muscly as fuck. <laughs> muscly as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's a greyhound. Like, greyhounds are normally skinny as fuck, aren't they? And he's yeah. just a massive, he's just a massive. Yeah, really tough. That's greyhound. a greyhound? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it in its face now, yeah. Yeah. Whew. Poor thing. Yeah. Yeah, my dogs are like properly strong and buff, like the way they should be. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're sled dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Squirrel Dude, he's suffered from these brain worms before. Only one that time. Usually we see two or three. <laughs> Oh, here it is. The calf crusher, this could be it. Weak calves, yeah. haven't they, dogs? No, oh, yeah, he's able to fight out. <laughs> oh. But there's that sit down last ride. Oh, this could be it. Ref, slow to pin, though. This is it. 
No, Wolf Bark gets the shoulder up, and this one's going to continue. My God. Can't believe he kicked out. Oh, now the, the chin break. <laughs> Scooby Doo <-Cool. laughs> Yeah, yeah, but we already we already kind of knew that. Master. Should have made it a triple threat with Scooby Doo, shouldn't we? This is it. <laughs> oh! Give him the pain. Look at that. He's going mad at the ref, isn't he? Wolf back there. Oh my god, whoever made the mistake of teaching me the winner three command in SFL uh, on Discord. Oh, you made a big mistake. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a maneuver. What a maneuver. <laughs> oh, it's the best, Basil. Jeez. It's the best. This is a uh, great stuff here from Scrooge. Yeah, absolutely. It's really working that knee down, which is uh, interesting when your uh, submission finisher is a calf-based attack. Yeah. I mean, it still puts the stretch on the same part of the body, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, he's looking to end it right now. Look at Wolfpark. Yeah, yeah look at this. Oh, and there it is. What was that? Is that a claymore? It would look like it, didn't it? Yeah. Who? Just a two count. I've Must got not no have gotten all of them with it. As well. I've got no idea. I did it ages ago, and I don't think I wrote it down. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge, but I'll, I'll find out for you. We'll time it later on. I'll, I'll, uh, after JFW, I'll time it out for you. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Fuck. Uh, tosses him off. And this match. So it's, it's uh, competing with the actual Blood Bowl match for which was longer. <laughs> it's a, But like that, in like the Blood Bowl match, it's a good match, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, just busting and now out. you might not see it, but. Wolfbark is bleeding internally right now. <laughs> oh, and he smashed him off of the hardest part of the ring. Oh my god. Oh, oh and there's the calf crusher that will accomplish absolutely nothing for Squirrel Dude. <laughs> no tap outs here, Wolfbark. Wolfbark taps, but it doesn't get the win. He's got to do it in the ring. Bad misjudgment from Squirrel Dude. Nobody. No, no, that. definitely not Squirrel Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely didn't do that. <laughs> we spent most of the time talking about last season. <laughs> and how Squirrel was the reigning defending champion. Undisputed. Deal. Yep. And how this season didn't even really count, and Squirrel's still the champion. <laughs> Oh, and we also tried to figure out that 1D Blitz for a while, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On a wrestler. <laughs> also talked about OFL for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And then my dogs howled for, like, a full turn. Yep. Yeah. That, was, that was cool, though. Oh, wow, what a knee. <laughs> Happy to help, Squirrel Dude. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just a champion. I'm just a, uh, an, uh, you know, an SFL champion. I'm not a spokesperson. <laughs> you want to talk about a, a merchandising contract of some kind? Gorilla Metso is all ears. Oh, the dirty pin attempt. Ref doesn't. Uh, he can't really care about that, I guess. No, he can't. Does not get the uh, three count though. Oh dear, this is it. This is it, meat slabs. Yeah, it's gotta be, gotta be. Doesn't go right into the pin, now he does. Sometimes he just does the sit down pin, I feel. Yeah. And there it is, Squirrel Dude the winner, and just as I called it, 
We now have a split in the championship of the SFL. So uh, we're going to have to go to the commissioner. And yep, sure enough, I'm getting word from the commissioner's board. Skirmetto is going to be considered the reigning champion of the SFL for a little bit longer while we sort this out. <laughs> What a match. I mean, if you think about it, Basil, though, just talking about Skuro as a champion, he's such a beloved wrestler, <laughs> beloved Blood Bowl player. That's going to draw a lot of people into the SFL, as is. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that match was really long. Well, don't, yeah. but, don't worry, well, I've good. got like 10,000 people watching my eye race and I'll mention it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair, that's fair, Bezel, but like, you know, got to start somewhere if you want to be a champ. Is it time for Dave? Does, uh, does, I, does I racing draw a lot of people? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not. it's not going it, to, you know, it, it, the thing is, even if it does, it's not going to for me, is it? Because no one's going to give a fuck. So, like, that's the, uh, that's the problem, basically. Like, you know, if, if Vettel does it, yeah, exactly. If Vettel streams it, he's going to get thousands and thousands of viewers, isn't he? But if you're right. just a nerd, no one's going to care unless, like, you built up, like, you know, like, like the yeah, other nerds yeah, yeah. that have built up viewers over years and years and years. But uh, you're not going to be able to burst onto the scene, be absolutely shit, <laughs> have anybody watch. <laughs> but as long as I enjoy it, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Dave. Yeah, Dave is on a visit at the proctologist here. As, uh, what's he called? <laughs> oh, Ripper Doc is going to get them fingers right up there. <laughs> and Wolfram Ajax is going to come in with his golden face. Lovely. <laughs> Dave! And there he is. Wrestler of great notoriety. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, thanks, Bessel. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, the most exciting thing about a new game is watching and betting on how quick you'll give up on the new game. Yeah, I can't afford to give up on this, so... Why? Because the fucking steering wheel costs £235. Oh, good fucking lord, it's like got a steering wheel involved? Yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be wonderful. So you're gonna put? Are you gonna put? Are you gonna put yourself on camera for this? Yeah, of course. You're gonna look like such a twat. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be great, isn't it? <laughs> Just make sure to make driving sounds and you go. <laughs> 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 Here's Bricka Dog. What an entrance! Came right out of the floor. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I've never heard of this game at all. Yeah, it's it's grown to prominence a bit more lately because of you know the COVID and that. I gotcha. Unlike all the other video games that exist that can also be played in your home. Well, yes, but iRacing has risen to prominence because, you know, the actual real NASCAR has done iRacing instead of actual real races. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. I see. I'm from the northern part of America, so I've never once paid attention to NASCAR. <laughs> and the actual F1 has been doing it as, as the same C, so like F1. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like a proper simu like driving simulation. Yes, exactly, yeah. Oh, you're gonna be fucking terrible at this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's totally All right, funny. now I'm suddenly on board. Are you streaming that tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, 
Um, a G29 Fault Force. Yeah, Catboy, so we, uh, almost all of us come out of the game Blood Bowl 2, which you haven't probably heard of or care about. Uh, but Jim got very sick of losing at it because he was mediocre at best, unlike me, who's a champion in that game. Uh, and he decided to come to WWE 2K19. Sorry, it was 2K16 first, because that's what he owned. Uh, make a bunch of the uh, wrestlers uh, out of uh, people from the audience and then put them into a universe and have the AI do all the work so he didn't have to play and also realize how bad at that game he'd probably be. <laughs> and uh, we have since upgraded, thanks to Tony Plays Poorly, buying most of us the game <laughs> uh, to 2K19. And here we are. We've been running a successful uh, um, uh, universe uh, with about, what do we got now, like 80-something wrestlers, Jim? Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah, 80 wrestlers uh, in this universe over the last um, almost month, month and a half now, coming up on two months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, incredible. We've had, we've yeah, had Lockdown has done things. some weird fucking shit to us. <laughs> <laughs> and here we but have Dave, if, a psycho if you, doctor. <laughs> fucking yeah, Dave if you want to get caught up on the JFW, just head to YouTube at Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And you can see all of our previous matches. We stream three times a week, plus pay-per-views. God, you're so good at this. I know. You're so good at this. If only there was any other use for this. <laughs> Maybe you can just like get a job at AAW or something. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you can be like, look, I've commentated on, on the JFW. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm also that. Viewers. Anyway, <laughs> Dave gets the uh, side Russian sweep takedown. Oh boy, now you fuck me. I love the compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on. We're on 2K19 now. Um, but we started on 2K16. Yeah. Um. Yes, Fault Force, I've heard the breakdown's really stiff. I haven't got the wheel yet. I'm, I'm getting it tomorrow from, uh, from Amazon. Dave! Srumetso. Dave's standing tall. <laughs> Thanks, Tarsus. Dave is, uh, is, gets the Irish whip and... Uh, does nothing with it. <laughs> does nothing with it, but a boot to the midsection. Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> Oh, and then he oh, gets And Dave out. sent to the outside by someone. Wolf from Ajax. Ajax, Ajax. Ajax or Ajax, whichever one. <laughs> you can take the rubber bit off uh, Fort Force and then it works fine. You don't need to buy anything different for it. <laughs> to always take the rubber off when Fall Force tells you to. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, where I'm going, I don't need bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Good reference. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, God, brutal. Dave just sent Ajax off the ropes, or the steps. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> and uh, now Dave punches him twice. Oh, but not a third time. Slap. Bitch slap to Dave, and he's sent back in the ring. Two other guys in pursuit. <laughs> Odd man Dominating man. isn't the word I'd use to describe a guy lying prone in the middle of a ring right now. <laughs> um, Wolf from Ajax, of course, is the odd man out, is the only person who is, is unmasked in this match. Should have maybe made it three masked men in this match. That would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Big shoulder block by Dave and the pin. This is first. Ripper Doc had no interest in breaking that pin up. Didn't need to. <laughs> no, it isn't elimination. He, he probably should have been interested, but he didn't yeah. give a fuck. Oh, oh look delayed at that. suplex by Dave. <laughs> and now Ripper Doc. Oh, headbutt to the back of Dave's head. <laughs> Oh, now stomp to Dave's midsection. <laughs> and, uh, 
Euro Truck Sim is sometime. Yeah, I can play that with a wheel. That'll be exciting, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I was always happy as well playing Euro Truck Simulator with a... Uh, with, uh, Dave with the coming. kick out at one. Yep. Euro Truck Simulator with Hungry Like the Wolf playing, so... Is uh is it possible to play Euro Truck Simulator? Can I be the cargo? <laughs> you can't be the cargo. All right, sweet. I'll just uh I'll just sit in the back of the truck. I'll just like sit on camera and then I'll. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That'll be perfect. Perfect uh, Euro Truck uh, Simulator. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know about that fall fall. Oh, nice and awful. Dave gets choke slam oh. by Ajax and pinned. Will he get the three count? Ripper on his feet. Oh, oh and just... Dave kicks out at two and a half. Yeah, it was so close. Two point nine, unbelievable. Oh, look at this from Dave. Oh, no, it wasn't from no, Dave. Oh, look at this from Ajax with the uh, DDT there. Yeah. Oh, God. Wolf. But now Ripper Doc, eh, oof, he's got him for the three lariats. Yeah, the Ripcord lariat pin. from Ripper Doc. Brilliant. Almost like I thought of it, but I hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> Pure coincidence that he happened to do that move. What's this? Oh, another counter oh. from Wolfram. Yeah, pretty, pretty sneaky funny. counters by Wolfram at that. Goes yeah. right into the pin, pretty hopeful. Especially with Dave. Dave right breaks there. it up. Yeah, Dave looming. <laughs> he's got he's got that shame of skin tone, hasn't he? Dave. <laughs> Brilliant. See you night, Demon. See you night, Demon. Oh, is this it? No. Phew, that was so close. I thought he was going to get him. Dave. <laughs> and Dave gets pinned by Ripper Doc. Ajax lying dead as well, and Ripper Doc the surprise win. Yeah. A loss for Dave. <laughs> Dave, oh god, he's done well, you know, Ripper Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well Let me know when you find that out, Muppet. <laughs> yeah, Ripper Dog's been uh, been quite a force. He might be moving up the uh, cruiserweight uh, pecking order. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Well, Dave. Everyone's just sad that Dave lost. Yeah, it really took the wind out of my sails, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Ripper Duck. You still have the audience, Dave, and that's all you need for true success. <laughs> it still wins Dave Death Zone. <laughs> Next up, I believe we've got I'm Too Noob For You versus Geeks Wargaming. Oh boy. Now Geeks uh, Geeks was put in against Jimmy Fantastic in his first match. I saw, fuck, I did it again. Jim, Geeks was put in against Tarsus in his first match. <laughs> and uh, really an unfair pairing there. Outsized, outclassed, and took a loss. Now he's got I'm Too New For You, also a newcomer to the JFW, uh, but a little bit more of a fair fight, I think. And uh, Geeks did come away with a multi-man win uh, earlier this week, last week, last week, I think. This week, last week. Maybe yeah. in a stream match, I think. I think it was in a stream match. Yeah, so anything could happen here. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, no, Geeks is Geeks is one-on-one. -on -one. So maybe he did. I don't know, but uh, yeah, Geeks has won again. He, he definitely had a surprise multi-man match win. I just forget what it was for. Yeah. If anything. 
I mean, if any of these matches are great. <laughs> Here he is, the king. <laughs> Hashtag not my king. Jawsus backstage somewhere, yeah. watching this intently. Yeah. Too new for you. Those uh, those ears look like they have been stretched into oblivion. <laughs> yes, he's a dark elf, don't you know? No, I I understand the concept, but they still. <laughs> <laughs> Look like melting candle wax. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Did you? Oh, dude. Yeah, that is a rumor, yes, Lum. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> There's got nothing to do, I just said Dave. <laughs> yes, dress for business might uh, might be picking up geeks. Oh, this is, yeah, Dave. I forgot that was Dave's win in his debut, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, thud. <laughs> oh, man. Good lie. Oh, he's up for it, isn't he? He's up for it as all geeks. Very animated chap, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he is here for a brawl. And the real question is, is the uh, foppish Dark Elf on the outside going to be able to uh, match intensity with him? Yeah, who knows? He does call himself the Bruiserweight. So he'll be cool. Oh, just two, two stiff punches right off the bat. Yeah. Oh, but here we go. The agility of Noob. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to call him Noob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. What's that maneuver? I don't know. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Something. What a maneuver. Hell of a takedown. Yeah. Oh. There he goes. Popping that elbow. Jawbreaker, the chin breaker. Oh, look at this. He's do he does the he does these moves, doesn't he? <laughs> Great commentary. <laughs> and he's got the uh, mid exposed midriff there. The uh, the classic blood bowl trademark of dark owls. <laughs> the exposed midriff. I uh, feel like you could have done a little bit more to highlight his butthole um, oh, for butthole yes. fouling. Yes, of course, the butthole foul. Oh, man. Very good point, Gorilla. Man, I make a few of them. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually in my talent assessment, but uh, in this case, it's uh, design and... Uh, <laughs> oh, and uh, Noob eats the back of that la our table and uh, Geeks gets him a second time. Yeah, outrageous. And now looking to get dropped on a no counters out of it. <laughs> the idea, geeks, was to be like you know, like those old tiny boxers kind of thing. That was kind of the idea. Yeah. He's a he's like a bare knuckles boxer, but he wears gloves. Yeah, with razor blades <laughs> on. Them. Well, pictures of razor blades. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> that's the idea.
<laughs> oh, he's biting his hand. Wow. <laughs> not, not leggings. <laughs> well, I guess they are, but you know they're not. <laughs> they're not like hipster leggings. <laughs> Skinny jeans. Yeah, they're like uh, wrestling tights, aren't they? He's dressed for business, not Starbucks. <laughs> Ooh, big, uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, Long John's bit, essentially, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it, dude? Oh, look at this. There's that, oh, that elbow stomp again. Yeah. Oof. That's One more funny. time, working the shoulder now. It is Fault Force versus Fault Force, yep. Oh, oh, look at that. Geeks took the structural the kendo stick over yeah. and just assaulting him with Be it. Be aware, ref, you are standing on an unstable ring now. <laughs> you love to see somebody using weapons, don't you? Incredible. I mean, you build an entire format around it. It would be nice if they did occasionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Failing to connect with a boot there. Ooh, what's this? Lovely move. Just the two count. Nearly got him. Couldn't quite put him away. I'm going for the arm again. Yeah. Geeks does target well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, the ref <laughs> seems to be okay, amazingly. <laughs> you squashed to nothing. <laughs> and then go out. Oh dear me. Exactly lemon, yep, yeah, that's the one. Oh, and top rope maneuver here. Big suplex, uh, double underhook. Whew. Incredible. That's it. Oh no! I I thought I heard the three hit. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Ah, for sure that was it. Looks like Geek's gonna have to do a little bit more, but here we go. I'm too noob for you waking up. Could he get the comeback going? Yeah, he's got, we'll he's just, got to. Nope, we're just going to walk him around a little bit and get hit in the stomach. <laughs> Hello, more plover. Whoa. You were on a day in the first match. Probably looking at that now. You have to do that. <laughs> Probably waste my breath. Oh, look at this! They did more Plovac. Oh. Pretty good match, otherwise, though. Yeah, it was a good match. Whoa. Oh, love that! Yeah, great Some stuff from Geeks. Dead weight hitting that ring. And that's it. And there it is, Geeks. Wargaming, the big winner of this one. I mean, yeah, there's always, you know, no more than normal. 
<laughs> Sometimes it could be because of the brain worms, right? Yeah. I believe it was you who took one of the most phenomenal kicks by J5 of all time. Yeah, it was. You were up on the top rope, and J5 somehow kicked you in the face out of the ring. So yeah. it's worth watching just for that. Yeah, but, that uh... <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm Too Noob for You is truly a noob thus far. I believe Owen 2 now in yeah. JFW. And woof, look at this one. We Jimmy Fantastic against Table Leg Wanger in a ladder match. Will they team up or will they face each other to go for the meaningless win? Big match with a bunch of other guys in it, too. Yes. Ah, it's Tarsus again. My bad, my bad. Tarsus. He said the best for last, so a bunch of popular folks in this one should be very interesting. A six-man ladder match. And a bit of a preview to Money in the Ass pay-per-view, which will be an eight-man ladder match. Now we've got a six-man ladder match, so there you go. Yep. Uh, I gotta say, my favorite in this one is probably Humorous Chimp, the most uh, adept at climbing and grabbing things that are hanging. What do you think? Yeah, you, you would think so, wouldn't you? But uh, my money is actually on WR Spenny. I think he'll pull out the win in this one. Yeah, he's been uh, he's had some pretty good appearances uh, thus far. Yeah, he's, uh, I don't know who Ice Gem is. Oh, that means dear Hunter. But um, yeah, he's been pretty impressive as WR Spenny, and I think this is a kind of TLC. It's not TLC, but, you know, he's done well in TLC matches in the past, and this is a kind of similar thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the mask, what's wrong with the mask, Lemon? Real question is, how many testicles will be punched by Table Leg Wanger in this one? <laughs> no DQs to, uh, to call. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And that is fiction with his, uh, the, the gaffer tape terror. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, and you can't say much about uh, much bad about Tarsus after uh, his run since arriving, beating the champ, including uh, included there, uh, EA winning over EAB clean. Yeah, it was an incredible performance from Tarsus. This will be a real test to see if he can win this six-man one. I mean, if he wins this, then uh, he's he's gonna be. Really uh, thinking about a shot for the title, surely. Yeah, I mean, rumors will be abounding about Jimmy Minmax Tastic uh, wearing, uh, wearing a bit of a fat suit in the Luchador gear <laughs> and continuing his reign when he's not on TV. But for now, we're going to call it as Tarsus until we have more information. <laughs> no idea, Hunter. This is, this is Table Leg Wanger. He is six foot nine. Um, <laughs> so he's like a he's like a bigger version of Jimmy Fantastic, <laughs> and he does have a devastating low blow in his arsenal, which uh, you know that may be. Which he may uses be... uh, <laughs> with with some frequency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's a fair assumption, with it. <laughs> Precision uppercut, dear Hunter. Precision uppercut. <laughs> All right, a regular uppercut on him because he's so tall. Yeah. <laughs> he is Tarsus, not Jimmy Fantastic. Tarsus. Yeah, you're definitely convincing people when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got facial hair and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks a little uh, glued on to me. We'll see. We'll see how it holds up during the match. <laughs> he's also not pale enough to be Jimmy Fantastic. So overall, nothing like Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> 
Well, the, you 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 heard it from the PR wing of uh, the JFW. Nothing like Jimmy Fantastic says all the people in charge that have a vested interest in you believing it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Tarsus. That was my original point, too. It's like, the more he tried to change it, the more it just looked fake. <laughs> That's a good point, Bezel, yeah. That makes him nothing like Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, because Jimmy Fantastic definitely has a poor uh, poor record in the chat. Yeah. 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 God, it's a great entrance, this thing. Holy shit. Otter Royal uh, netted himself a pretty awesome win last week, too, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Or was that a Monday? Yeah, sometime. Yeah, I think it was on Monday. He had a pretty good win. <laughs> um, I think I probably did start by using Jimmy, uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah, I'm going to change the music, actually. Yeah, it is Lingo. I'm going to change both of your music, to be honest. Um, I've got a spreadsheet which is telling me which music is getting my videos demonetized. <laughs> and I'm going to identify. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to That's so fucking dumb. It's part of the game. I know. I know. So, I'll... sadly, Glorious gets it demonetized every time. So, I've got to change that off, off me. Oh, anyway. that's, that, that's wonderful. How about, oh, uh, I bet Skuros probably does too, huh? It did once, but only once out of like five. Oh, so, weird. A lot That's of the motorhead. Music. So you'd figure that one would surely. The thing is, if you talk over it, then that stops it sometimes. Oh, so, uh, okay. Yeah, so we should try and talk over the entrances a bit. Uh, couldn't you? Couldn't you technically mute the recording and still have it live? Like, just not have the music for. Yeah, for certain ones. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Like, like, I, I don't know. I don't think anyone on YouTube is going to complain too much if they can't hear the music. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. But I thought, you know, it's not worth pissing off the ten people who watch it to, to, to make a tenth of a penny, you know? So that's why I've left all the no, music. No, Glor Glorious Mova Pl Mora Plovach is a WWE. It's, it's Bobby Roode's actual theme in WWE. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, that's the thing. Like having no music is a bit shit. But so I don't want. I don't want to just mute it to like, you know, get a few pennies. It seems a bit shit, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean that was my that was gonna be my next question. Is like, I mean, you're not. We're talking about cents here, not dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, I thought you know if I can just change the music so that then it's all right, isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's definitely more than a dollar, Basil. Probably like under 50, right? No, oh, no. No, about 50 a month, I think. No, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, I can't tell you lifetime, but they, I think they give us, you know, a month. Yeah. Month. Didn't tell me how much it was. Fuck it. <laughs> Fifty pennies a month. From deep in the jungle, weighing in at 185 pounds. He's just a Marissa Cam. Damn right, Muppet. Damn right.
Well, while Jim's counting all his money, we have a four or a uh, six-man uh, ladder match kicking off here. <laughs> and what's at stake? Absolutely nothing. But all six of these men are still going to try and win it. Yeah. Say fifty dollars a month. Is that pre or post Brexit, though? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's a bit different because obviously, um, oh, we can do all time. Well, all time will probably make it go way down, though. So it's yeah, so it's yeah, I guess about fifty dollars a month. Yeah. But now you gotta figure out what percentage of that is the rest to see if it's worthwhile. It's always worthwhile, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm still gonna do it. It doesn't matter if it made nothing. Does it really? Like, um, yeah, it's just for fun, isn't it, the rest of them? Yeah, I mean, as long as there's no risk of it getting your, like, channel banned or something. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's another thing to, to cut those ones out as well, yeah, to be fair. But um, it doesn't, what, what it does is it just says, like, this, this, these aren't copyright strikes. They just, uh, what it is is, uh, I think it might be because it's American, because it says, it always says on those things, it's, like, can't be monetized in some countries. So maybe if I was in America, it would still be all right. So I don't know how it, how it all I don't know. Well, if it makes you feel better, most wrestling content on YouTube gets demonetized anyway because of the whole, uh, you know, like a couple years ago when they did the whole, like, demonetize everything because the, uh, the advertisers were pissy. Oh, yeah. So, um, like, almost all wrestling content gets demonetized. Oh, well. There you go, then. Jeebus. So here we go, we've got a match. Sorry about that. <laughs> Me just reading about how much money I make. <laughs> yeah, none of us were impressed, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't trying to impress. I was just genuinely curious. I know, curious. I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I was just genuinely curious. It's, it's, it's something. If, any, if anything, I'm surprised you haven't been getting a lot of like pity donations from people. <laughs> Show him some love, folks, with the pity bits and the pity cheers. This man makes $50 a month. How do you think he's supposed to buy all his Derner kebabs with that? <laughs> Thanks, Mo Plover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Humorous Chimp going straight up for the thing. Yeah, I told you that the, the, the ape knows how to get up a ladder. But then, you know, the whole opposable thumb thing coming into play trying to unhook it. <laughs> Also, the strength of uh, Wanger knocking that ladder over instantly. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lemon. <laughs> Fogfoss hasn't bought me any kebabs because I asked him not to. <laughs> <laughs> but if I hadn't asked him not to, he'd have probably already bought me like a hundred kebabs. <laughs> uh, we all know what happened to me last time. I uh, I, I thought uh, I was getting a Fall Force kebab. <laughs> yeah, you ended up, you ended up in, in the, the back, back of, his of his van for 15 minutes while he tried to steal my job. <laughs> this is really anyone's match right now. A uh, table leg with the ladder, using it pretty effectively. Spenny, though, oof, misses wildly with the kick, gets him that time. And then Fiction and, uh, and uh, not Jimmy, uh, Tarsus <laughs> have been outside of the ring for a good long while now. Yeah. He looks nothing like me now, by the way, because now I look like Mickey Mouse, so it's all right. And now, no <laughs> one seeming to want to stop uh, Spenny. Spenny. 
at all. <laughs> no, they're in. What Royal's there? It's getting help. And they uh, see. Oh, just barely got him. Uh, begs the question: Why table leg doesn't <laughs> just? Oh, there it is. He did you see that? He almost went for it, but he's like, no, I want to turn you around, and then he went in. <laughs> They were like almost tall enough to just grab the money in the bank contract. Yeah, almost. <laughs> it's not fun, Jimmy. It's Tarsus. <laughs> Jimmy Tarstastic sets up the ladder. <laughs> oh, Humor is a champ. Getting them both on the thing. Is he going to go for Yeah, and then, oh boy. Okay, he gets one of them out. No, and then decides, the maybe not Jimmy. the best decision. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Tarsus. Oh, now he's up. But Tars is right there and knock him down. <laughs> and Table Leg again with a, <laughs> with a move. Table Leg has got everybody with a move who's trying to go up there. Oof, cheeky. Cheeky neck breaker. Is he gonna go up the ladder? I think he probably is. Oh, he's got the ladder in hand. No one to hit with it. Yeah, we're gonna see the big man climb two rungs and he can reach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but fast. he doesn't look too comfortable climbing it. And now fiction is looming. Punches <laughs> him in the ass. <laughs> and now that ladder is not going anywhere. <laughs> wow. Well, there it is. Yeah, needed two of them. Table leg power bombed by Oriel. Oh, Ooh, look at God. that! Wow. Incredible maneuver by Humorous Chip. Yeah. A hard Irish whip from Oriel smashes Spenny off the turnbuckle. And now Spenny has cleared it, but the ladder nowhere to be seen. <laughs> He's got it back in. He's got a chance. Yeah, no one no one moving really to stop him. What is Fiction gonna do? Fiction looks like he is gonna come in the ring. Yeah. Fiction's the great hope of everybody else, but it, Oh you, boy. He's tangling with uh with humans. Oh but here comes Table Leg. And here comes Otto Royal. All right. Oh, and now humorous Jim. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think uh, I think Table Leg's making some bad decisions right now. <laughs> he is. He's kicked the fuck off Otto Royal. No, never mind. It looks like he's gonna do both. Yeah, incredible stuff. Table Leg dominating. Oh my God! And a power bomb onto the power ladder. Power bomb onto the ladder, and now the ladder back out of the ring. <laughs> Wow, that was a pretty dominant show by uh, by by table leg, and it sure looked like a big uh, mistake. <laughs> yeah. Tarsus of a stalling suplex. The mega powers have imploded here. <laughs> oh wait, nope, that's Tarsus has got him. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, a big ending by Tarsus. And now he is alone to set up that ladder as, uh, well, no, Table Leg didn't roll out. Yeah, Taking his time, though. This isn't going to work out so well for him, I don't think. Mm. Climbing slow, the big luchador. Oh, and Fiction's there, and Spenny's there. Oh, they couldn't get him in time. Tarsus no, and look at that. Jimmy Fantat. Tarsus wins the match. Surprise to no one. <laughs> Congratulations, Tarsus. What a tear. I have a feeling Jim McMahon is going to put him in a title match sooner than we would expect for a guy so young in his career. Yeah, he's certainly made an immediate impact, hasn't he? He's beaten EAB clean, one, two, three, in the middle of the ring, and now he's won this massive six-man ladder match. That is very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can't take any of those wins away from him. Yeah. There was a bit of uh, rumblings of controversy in his win over EAB, but there he is winning that Money in the Bank briefcase that is completely empty and absolutely meaningless. <laughs> yeah. But still a big main event win for the big luchador. Yes, 
And, that, that's, and that's all we've got time for tonight. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metzo. Absolutely. Thank you, Jimmy, for having me. I will see you on Friday night. Glorious. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.